Uh, my really only experience before I took Mr. Kugel's AP Chemistry class with chemistry itself was the Honors Chem course I took in sophomore year. So this year I'm taking AP Chem, like I said, I have it third block and it works out fine. So far I've really enjoyed my experience. Pretty much your basic normal chemistry topics, like we really focus on uh, reactions and uh, like gas laws, some of the stuff that you touched on in honors or maybe regular chemistry as a student. Um, then you continue on into like stoichiometry, stoichiometry excuse me, and uh, equilibrium, um, kinetics, stuff like that. So your general topics about chemistry, nothing too super crazy. Pretty much every unit works the same way, um, more or less. We have a couple days where it's more lecture and you're taking notes and really taking in the information. And then a couple days where you're working on a lab. We generally have one lab per unit. And then um, a review day and then you test your knowledge with a test at the end. Reading and writing for the class of AP Chem is really what you make it. Um, he gives you suggested readings for every kind of section that we go through for uh, the notes. And um, it's, it's not generally required that you do the readings, but it's really suggested, it's highly recommended because it can really help uh, stimulate the learning that you have gone through in class. So it'll help uh, kind of enrich that for you. Um, what I do when I do the readings, I kind of go through and take general notes that's another good strategy to take. It doesn't have to be anything long. Just take a few notes, jot down the important concepts, and that'll get you through. If you don't have time that night for whatever reason, that's fine. It's not anything suggested, but it's definitely recommended. For every unit, you get a homework packet. It's a few pages. Um, goes along with the stuff that you've been going over in class. Nothing too crazy, definitely manageable if you're especially going through it as you learn the concepts. Um, it's good for independent workers that are uh, self-time managers and can get their stuff done. But if you uh, procrastinate and leave it till the end of the unit, it's gonna be tough to get it all done. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're on top of it the entire unit. I took this class because it's something that pertains to my major and I wanted to make sure I got the college credit for it which so far I think is gonna work out for me. Um, I definitely have been challenged by the class, so it's good that I've taken it in high school with a smaller class here, so I can get the help I need and really get these topics down as I move forward into my college career. So I would definitely suggest this to uh, kids coming into their junior or senior years.